Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, prove that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides and then using the above do the following. The areas of two similar triangles ABC and PQR are in the ratio 9 is to 16. And we are given that BC is equal to 4.5 centimeters. We have to find the length of QR. So first let us prove this theorem. So we have two triangles. Let us consider ABC and PQR. We have to prove that area of triangle ABC divided by Area of triangle PQR is equal to AB square divided by PQ square is equal to BC square divided by QR square is equal to CA square divided by RP square. That is, we have to prove that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. And the construction to this problem is draw AD perpendicular on BC and PS perpendicular on QR. Now let's start with the proof. Now Area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to. Now the area of triangle is half of base into height. So area of triangle ABC is half of BC into AD. Right? And therefore area of triangle PQR with the same formula that area of a Triangle is half of base into height. We can write here that half into PS into QR. Half cancels out with half and we have area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR equal to BC divided by QR into AD divided by PS. Let this be equation number 1. Also we are given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Now, in triangle ABD and triangle PQS, we will try to show that these two triangles are Similar. So in these two triangles, angle B is equal to angle Q. Since we are given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Also, angle ADB is equal to angle PSQ. Since each angle is of measure 90 degree. Therefore, by angle-angle similarity, triangle ABD is similar to triangle PQS. Now, this implies that AD divided by PS is equal to AB divided by PQ. Also, since ABC is similar to triangle PQR, therefore we have AB divided by PQ equals to BC divided by QR. So, from these two equations, we get that AD divided by PS is equal to BC divided by QR. Let this be equation number 2. Now, 
In equation 1, we have area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC divided by QR and AD divided by PS. So, in place of AD divided by PS, we shall write BC divided by QR. Therefore, we have area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR equal to BC divided by QR into AD divided by PS we have in place of this we shall write BC divided by QR. So this implies that area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR equals to BC squared divided by QR square. And now F triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. We have AB divided by PQ equal to BC divided by QR is equal to AC divided by PR. So, this can further be written as area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC square divided by QR square and BC divided by QR is equal to AC divided by PR. So, squaring both the sides we have AC square divided by PR square and similarly considering these two and squaring we have PC square divided by QR square is equal to AB square divided by PQ square. And hence we have proved that area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC square divided by QR square is equal to AC square divided by PR square is equal to AB square divided by PQ square. Now let us find the answer to the second part. In the second part we are given the area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR equal to 9 divided by 16 and we are given BC is equal to 4.5 centimeters. We have to find the length of QR. Now substituting these values here we have 9 divided by 16 is equal to 4.5 centimeters whole square divided by QR square or we have QR square is equal to 4.5 into 4.5 into 16 divided by 9 centimeters square. Now 9 into 0.5 is 4.5. So we have 4.5 into 0.5 into 16 centimeters square which further implies 45 into 5 into 16 divided by 10 into 10. Now in simplifying 5 2s are 10, 2 8s are 16, 5 9s are 45, 5 2s are 10, 2 4s are 8. So we have 9 into 4, 36 centimeters square which implies that QR is equal to 6 centimeters. Hence the answer is the length of QR is 6 centimeters. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.